shortbread hearts. For this recipe you're going to need three and a half cups of butter, one cup of caster sugar and three and a third cups of plain flour. What we're going to do first is we're going to take the butter and we're going to scrape it all into a big bowl. So a little bit tricky, just make sure you've got all of the butter, as much as the butter off the cups as you can. Then what you're going to do, you're going to add in the sugar. Going to mix the butter and the sugar together until it's nice and creamy. If the bowl's slipping, we're going to put a cloth underneath to stop it sliding around. Once all the butter and sugar is combined, then what we're going to do is we're going to add in the flour. And then we're going to carefully mix all that together. And it'll start to mix together and become shortbread dough. Make sure there's no flour or butter at the bottom of the bowl. So tilt the bowl up and make sure it's all mixed in. Once it starts to bind together, then you've got your shortbread done. And what you're going to do, you're going to wrap it in cling film and it's going to go into the fridge for at least one hour so the butter goes hard. Once it's been in the fridge for an hour, then we can roll it out. So we've got our shortbread pastry. I've got my rolling pin. I've got my baking sheet. And I can either put greaseproof paper on, or you can grease it with butter and sprinkle with flour. So it's, so the, paste, the shortbread hearts won't stick. And I've also got my heart shaped cutter. So, this is a very soft dough, so you don't want to handle it too much. So, I'm going to sprinkle flour onto the work surface. Not too much, just enough. 
I'm going to make sure there's flour in my rolling pin and I'm not going to push too hard. If you start to push too hard, it will stick to your bench. So every time you roll it backwards and forwards, go backwards and forwards and then turn it. If you don't do that, if you keep rolling and rolling and rolling, it will stick. You want it about that thick. You can have them thicker if you want, that's not a problem. And then what we're going to do, we're going to take our shortbread heart and I've also got my spatula and I'm going to start cutting out hearts so lay it on and push and when you do your next heart so very carefully take that out and I'm going to put it on my tray when you do the next one you can turn the heart upside down When you're laying it on the tray, you can get more and more on the tray because these won't rise and they won't get any bigger. So we can, we're not wasting pastry, we're not handling the pastry too much because it's a very, very soft dough. A good shortbread dough is very, very soft. If you find that it's starting to stick, dip it in a little bit of flour. So you want your shortbread hearts If one sticks, what you can do is you can take your spatula and very carefully maybe put a little bit of flour on it and slide it underneath. But if you've floured the surface properly, it shouldn't stick. I'm not using too much flour. Just enough to stop everything from sticking. And these are going to be baked at 190 degrees so it's quite a hot oven but it's only going to be baked for about 10 to 15 minutes they don't take very long but they will burn very very easily so you have to watch them and there you have shortbread hearts ready for valentine's day <laughs>